So we're Asmus Feeder and today welcome back to the District 7 channel once again and we have an insane gameplay for you guys today. We have a triple nuclear on the map slums on Black Ops 2, one of my favourite Call of Duties as a lot of people. And it was almost a quad with him unfortunately dying 5 off the quad but it's okay this gameplay is insane as it is. The pub stompers link will be in the description, I heavily recommend you go down and show him some support, drop him a sub so he can be motivated to get you guys these amazing gameplays. Before I do continue please go down and like the video as it helps us out a lot and press that red subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. So I had an interesting experience when it comes to messages and this was about I'd say two weeks before World War 2 was released so I don't know why this has just came into my head now it, it just doesn't make sense. So I was still playing Black Ops 3 because I really don't like Infinite Warfare it's a really boring Call of Duty in my opinion. I was playing Black Ops 3 and I don't know why I can remember the exact details but I remember being on the map Citadel and had a horrible game like went like 28 to 18 it was bad and I got a message from this girl from my school who is friends with my ex so it was kind of sketchy to begin with but she said and I'm never gonna forget this she said do you want to play COD now you might be thinking that's not really too bizarre because you know there is some gamer girls but bearing in mind this girl is one of the most quietest people in the whole school and definitely doesn't play console I can assure you that and so I said okay so I instantly assumed she'd been dead to ask this as so I asked, have you been dared to ask this? And she said, yeah, and mentioned the girl who I've never spoke to. So again, sketchy. And apparently she said to message me the first thing she thought of and what came to her mind was to go on Xbox. It just doesn't add up. It's weird, I know. Then proceeds to say, got to go, I've got to walk my dog. My mind was all over the place and I sent this to all of my friends. It was so funny. She then messages me a week later asking me not to tell anyone that she was talking to me. Well, that's kind of awkward. Now, it's about six or seven months later, and I said sorry for all the stuff she had to go through, because my, ma my mates was just always saying stuff like, you like Jake, Jake likes you, stuff like that. You know, obvious banter, it's stupid stuff like that. I said sorry for all the stuff. Why now? I don't know. I felt bad for her, but my ex is a weirdo, so I tend not to go near her, and since she's basically best friends with her, I just didn't go up to her. So she said, let's just forget about it, and now we are here. Such a weird situation. Anyway, let me know what you would have done in my position in that situation. Dare I ask that question? Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have it, please go down and like the video, it really does mean a lot. And subscribe to join the D7 family and press the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to hear more from me, my link will be in the description. I do gun syncs and normal stuff like Fortnite, so if you're interested, check it out. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you the rest of the gameplay and yeah, I'm Mr. Feed signing out. Peace. My ethic got to be the fucking death of me. Yo. Working out up in my room My friends think I'm alone or ran it sadly true Cause work and work and work is all I ever seem to fucking do I've been working now I'm about to win with all these fucking tunes Holler at a white boy Claiming that he had an easy life boy But let me tell y'all that shit ain't right boy Coming from the brink of insanity From a lower class vanity Wanna take the game and kill it with this fucking profanity Ate us round slow Thinking that I care about the down votes Watch it Ada rate me Wanna thank him for that promo Watching my videos got me close to Arsenio Working on this damn album in my my fucking presidio sorry for the way i've been working nella our time spent with friends is now time spent writing bars so i lock myself away until i'm sad and just like yay i'm shutting off and so i'm dancing to that motherfucking lona ramp i've been staying up long nights everything i do i swear i do a million times i won't fucking stop until it all sounds right my ethic got to be the fucking death of me yo i've been staying up long nights everything i do i swear i do a million times i won't fucking stop until it all sounds right my ethic got to be the fucking death of me yo feeling like a square on my friends have been asking me to smoke because every time they ask i awkwardly decline and say no so instead of getting high vegetating eating fries i lock myself up in my room and tell myself that i am fine no remorse though because every time i want to hang all they want to do is fucking drink and smoke feeling like i'm 45 watching kids all waste their lives kind of funny how their lowest is when they are fucking high and yet they so complain when their fucking future is falling through like they couldn't stop all of the blunts that they hit the tests that they miss and they're expecting me to sit there and agree with that shit like i'm not about to reminisce on every single fucking jay and spliff that's the reason that i'm only doing music i'll be puff puff passing on this pen i will abuse it never getting faded medicated wasting my potential so now i'm sitting here just dancing to that motherfucking lona ramp i've been staying up long nights everything i do i swear i do a million times i won't fucking stop until it all sounds right my ethic got to be the fucking death of me, yo I've been staying up long nights Everything I do, I swear I do a million times I won't fucking stop
stop until it all sounds right My ethic about to be the fucking death of me